Hi traders, this is week two of my journey from $1,000 to a million dollars trading using Forex robots. I started off with $1,000. I opened 10 cent accounts with FBS and put $100 in each. So you see the balance here at the bottom, which is $100,000. It is actually $1,000 in real life. I'm not doing the trading myself. I'm using the expert Forex account linking service, which I will post a link to in the description below. As of recording, there are 63 accounts that you can link to. I've chosen the best 10 based on my personal criteria of profit versus drawdowns in the past five weeks. I'm logged into my VPS, which contains the 10 MT4 terminals um, all running on separate accounts. For this portfolio, I'm using the Contabo VPS. They are very cheap, but I find they do occasionally crash. So you do have to keep an eye on it um, and restart your MT4 terminals every once in a while. You can see in every single MT4 terminal, I have two charts open. One is the trade receiver provided by Expert Forex, and the other one is the FX Blue Publisher that helps me monitor my portfolio. All the accounts started at $100, which translates to about $10,000 in cent terms. This one has a floating profit and loss of about $28. This VPS is fairly beefy. It's got 16 gigabytes of RAM. So you can see running 11 MT4 terminals, the CPU is only at about 30%. I'm going to use my programming skills to generate a script that will give me all the FX blue charts for my portfolio. Of course, you don't have to copy with all my scripts. What I'm trying to do is go to FX blue. I extracted this image here. I extract the cumulative profit and uh, this picture here. Um, so I just like it all nice and neat in one page so I can quickly do my analysis, but you can achieve the same thing um, by just going to FX Blue and clicking on the charts that you wanna do your analysis on. This is my personal portfolio. The first account has only been trading for one week in the two weeks of my journey. In the first week of trading, it actually didn't make any trades. So when I changed the linked provider, it has started trading in the past week. I'm copying all the signal providers at 110% to try and get 10% gains per week. This week was $806, so that's fairly close enough. I'm keen to see the banked floating profit and loss hourly. Um, I want to see the equity chart um, following the banked profit and loss chart closely. And this one's performing really well. Um, the red and blue lines are very close together. Account number two, this account has made $600 in the past week. There are no open trades and it's only been trading for one week because this account did not make any trades in the first week of my journey. Sometimes FX Blue does um, not accurately reflect the uh, floating profit and loss, and this is the case with this chart. So unfortunately, I can't see the equity, um, but the fact that it has returned $600 is a good sign. This one is trading the Euro uh, New Zealand. Account 3 is not doing so well. This is trading the Aussie US. It's only made $100 profit, and there is a drawdown of $1,000, um, and it has been a drawdown for most of the week. So I will mark this one for further analysis um, and see if we do want to switch providers for the Aussie US. Account 4 is doing okay. It has made some returns over the past two weeks, but the drawdown isn't looking that great. So we'll also mark this one for further analysis, the Euro Japanese Yen. Account of five has not been performing well for the past two weeks. It's been a drawdown the entire time. Uh, unfortunately, I can't make any changes until this one comes back in profit. Account six is also doing quite terribly. Um, there's a massive drawdown of 7,000. So we do have to wait for this one to come out of drawdown to, before we can make any changes. Account seven seems to be doing okay. Initially, it was in quite a bit of drawdown. It seems to have recovered in the past week and is returning some profits. This is the New Zealand US. Um, the profits haven't been that great, but we'll see what we can do um, to uh, fix this one. Account eight is not great, not terribly. It's returned $500 um, and only returned profits for one week. So the first week it was in mostly in drawdown. Unfortunately, FX Blue is not behaving for this account and it won't show us the floating profit and loss. Um, 
This one seems okay, I might leave it for now. Account 9, I'm actually running on MT5, not on MT4, because FBS posts a maximum of 10 MT4 terminals, and I wanted to use my last MT4 terminal on another robot, so that's why this one is marked as MT5. It's doing okay, it's returned 1,200, um, and is the best performer this month, sorry, this week. Uh, however, in the past few days, it has gone into a drawdown of 1,300, so we have to wait for that one to come out of drawdown before we make any changes. For this one, when it comes out of drawdown, I'll be changing the lot multiplier from 1.1 to 1.2. The last account has returned a dismal $261 over the past week, and it has been consistent for two weeks now. Uh, the drawdown chart actually isn't that bad. Um, half this week has been in drawdown, half the first week has been in drawdown, but at least the um, equity versus balance has been fairly close. If you've liked what you've seen so far in this video and my analytical style to robot trading, hit the like button so I know that this is the kind of content that you want to see. I've used my script to generate the charts for the FX Blue signal providers that I'm particularly interested in. I only want to see the past five weeks, not what it did a year ago. Plus, I'm only filtering by Forex. I'm not trading um, gold or uh, indices at this stage. I've grouped them all by um, the currency that they're trading so we can pick the best. For example, the top few are all Aussie Japanese yen. The first one is link um, 12 trading of Aussie Japanese when yen. This one looks like the best because it's been returning uh, profits every single week and the balance and profit line are fairly close. Um, whereas if you look down at link 98, this one is terrible. It is at a $9,000 um, loss. And so lucky we're not trading this one because this would have blown our account. Um, link at 58, see this one is um, not too bad, it's only in a $2,000 drawdown. Um, the past four weeks have been okay, um, but uh, not as good as the first one. And link 109, this one's not too bad. Um, the current drawdown is at about almost $5,000. Um, it's only returned profits three weeks in the past five weeks. So the first um, link 12 from a Aussie Japanese yen looks to me like the best one. For my first account, I'm already copying the link 12 for trading the Aussie Japanese yen. The balance is almost at 11,000. The current lot factor is 1.1, so I'm going to change that for this week to 1.2. Oops. Link 13 is trading the Aussie New Zealand. It's returned three weeks of profit in the past five, um, and the current drawdown is 1,700. I'm not currently copying this um, signal provider or any other providers trading the Aussie New Zealand. Um, there's only one provider trading the Aussie New Zealand, so we'll leave it for now. However, I am trading the Aussie US. Let's find the best signal provider for this one. I personally am copying the 99C version, um, so let's see how that performs compared to the rest. Um, 114, uh, size will dry down the past few weeks, so I'm not going to touch that one. Link 27 looks pretty good. Um, it's returned uh, something every week for the past five weeks, and the equity and um, balance line are pretty close, so Link 27 looks very promising. Link 83C, not a uh, pretty big drawdown there. And Lincoln 99, which I'm copying, um, is currently in a drawdown of $1,000. It performed reasonably well before, but it's not doing so well now. Um, Link 94C, big drawdown right now. Link 75C, uh, sorry, Link 75, um, reasonable drawdown right now. And last week, it, um, it looks like it entered in a loss. So we are trading the second best. 99C is in drawdown, but I think Link 27C, sorry, Link 27 is much better for the Aussie US. Um, I am currently in a drawdown, so I can't make these changes. But when it does come out of the drawdown, I'll look at changing to Link 27C. Account three, I'm currently trading Link 99C, but I'm going to look at changing it to Link 27 when it comes out of drawdown. 
account to I'm trading the US CAD and there is only one US CAD the entire account linking service provider it looks pretty good it's returned profits every week for the past few weeks and the equity and floating profits line are fairly close together I'm pretty happy with 74c my account to I'm trading link 56c on the euro New Zealand there are no other accounts with this currency uh, from a chart perspective it looks pretty good it's returned profits every week in the past five weeks uh, unfortunately I can't see the floating profit and loss line but um, there are no open trades and there was profits this week the account balance is currently at 10,700, trading at 1.1 lot size, so I'm going to change this to 1.2. Account 4, I'm trading the Euro Japanese Yen. There's quite a few accounts to choose from. First one, Link 92, um, that massive drawdown, uh, let's skip that one. Link 50, um, that's looking pretty good. Um, profits every single week, and the equity and profit charts is fairly close. I'm currently copying the link at 54C. Um, there have been some profits in the um, past few weeks, but link 50 does look like a superior chart. Link 49 does not look good. It's been in drawdown for most of the time. And link 57 um, has been doing okay, um, but not that great. Um, so the best one looks like a link 50. I'm currently copying link 54C. I might make a change to link 50. There is currently one open trade on link 54C. It is currently in profit. So uh, right now it is the weekend on Monday when the market opens and this remains in profit. I can close this and switch this trade receiver to link 50. Account 5 is trading the Euro Aussie. There are a few accounts to choose from, but it looks like they're all in drawdown. First one, link 24, um, 5,000 drawdown, link 77, 7,000 drawdown, link 78, 3,000 drawdown, link 55C, all in drawdown. So nothing much we can do until they all come out of drawdown. Account six, I'm um, copying the Canadian Swiss franc. This is the only single provider with that currency and it's in a fairly sizable drawdown of 7,800, which is the same as my account. I can't do much until this account comes out of drawdown. Account seven, I am trading the New Zealand US. There's two accounts to choose from, the link 37C and link 110. I am personally copying link 37C. The results in the past five weeks have been fantastic and the equity to balance drawdown has been fantastic. 110 has not been performing well. You can see it's only returned uh, four weeks in the past five and most of the time it's been in a fairly sizable draw drawdown. So I am happy with copying link 37C for the New Zealand US. My account at trading the New Zealand US is already trading at 110% um, with the uh, balance at uh, 10,300. So I'm not ready to move this up just yet. I'm going to leave the lot size to 110% for now until we are closer to the 11,000 mark. Account 8, I'm trading the pound New Zealand. There are three accounts to choose from, 89, 76 and 85. I don't know what's wrong with FX Blue. It's complaining about the floating profit and loss for all three charts, so we can't actually see it. What we can do is go based on the smoothest equity chart. So the bottom and the top one seems the best. The middle one, um, see these flat periods? That means it's been in drawdown and there was a week when it didn't return any profits. So 89 and 85 look pretty good um, in the past five weeks uh, 89 does look superior in terms of return um, link 85 the two weeks down here haven't returned that much so let's say link 89 is superior lucky for me I'm already trading link 89 and the balance is at almost at 11,000 so I'm going to change this to 1.2 120 percent and that's good to go for next week. When this comes out of a drawdown, hopefully um, it will start trading. Um, this one is performing quite well. 
my ninth account I'm trading the pound US um, there's quite a few accounts to choose from link 105 looks pretty good the profits have been increasing over the past few weeks the equity and balance looks pretty good um, link 104 also looks quite promising link 73 um, a fairly sizable drawdown so not that great Link 100C looks okay. Um, every week has been returning uh, profits. Link 47 looks okay. Um, not that great. And they think that's it. So the, I would say the best two for the um, pound US would be the top two, 105 or 104. They look pretty good um, from a profit perspective. I'm going to say link 105 looks the best to me. I'm currently copying the second best, link 104, and um, there's a, a little bit of a drawdown of 1,300, but the balance is very good at over 11,000. So when this one comes out of drawdown, I would look to move it to 105, but honestly 104 seems pretty good as well. And I would be looking to change the lot factor from 1.1 to 1.2. My last account, I'm trading the pound Japanese yen. There's quite a few accounts to choose from. First one is 106, which is doing okay. Um, it's been a profitable four weeks, the past five. There is a little bit of a drawdown, but I'm not concerned about that. 106 is a contender. 102 is not doing great. Uh, look at that big drawdown. Link 10, this is what I'm copying. This looks pretty fantastic. Um, look at that a beautiful uh, line both the equity and balance follow each other nicely. Link 1E, um, not that great. Look at that um, reasonably long drawdown. Link 51, mm, not that great. Link 22, not great. Um, and that's it. So my current copy of Link 10 is the best for the pound Japanese yen. I'm going to leave it at that. The account trading the pound Japanese yen, the balance is still low at just over 10,000, not 11,000 yet. So I'm going to leave the lots factor to 110% and I won't move it to 120% just yet. This is a summary of my analysis and actions for this week. Um, some accounts are in drawdown, some accounts are in profit. Um, and when the market opens on uh, Monday, I have to keep an eye on these two, uh, sorry, three. Uh, when they come out of drawdown, I'll be looking to change the signal providers. I am a totally random person on the internet with absolutely no credibility. This is not financial advice at all. This is merely a fun experiment for me to see how far I can get from $1,000 all the way up to a million. If you want to follow my progress, all the FX Blue links are on my website in the members area, which is free to join. I will post a link to that in the description below. The plan for now is to continue using the Expert Forex account linking service. I'm taking the a portfolio approach where I'm take, trading 10 different signal providers to spread my risk. However, I do accept that at any one time, any of one of those or multiple accounts can blow and get wiped out. I'll leave it trading on my VPS for another week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.